Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, I know I've been, like, it's been a long time since I made a video, but I'm back. You can go into Avatar uh, Rig Builder and Block Avatar, or you can insert your uh, killer. Uh, today's video is going to be how to make a pathfinding killer. If you go to home, you'll see these parts you can click. There's some parts right here. You can create a few around the map and double click and a group as a folder. You can name this folder Waypoints. And on the rig, you can uh, delete these, this animate script and you can uh, act, put a server script inside, call it AI. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna wanna get some variables. The killer is gonna equal script parent name service is going to equal to game get service pathfinding service and we can also get over here the uh, uh, humanoid goes killer wait for child humanoid I'll go humanoid root part it's going to root part, root part. Uh, set network owner and you can leave it blank because it automatically sets it to nil or you can also put nil there but I will just leave it blank you can create a function called create path you can have position 1 and position 2 the create path function you can create a while um, wait loop like this and we, we can also create a function um, walk around and another function called leave these blank for now but in here we're gonna do um, just walk around over here right there like that and then the walk around we're gonna want to get a path or we can also over Right above Raycast, we're gonna put another one function. Um, get get nearest player player. That's gonna local closest max distance. It's gonna equal. Let's just do a hundred and for i comma player in pairs game get service players get players do and we can check if the player the character of the player exists and um we're gonna get the distance so local distance is gonna equal in params or brackets i mean um player dot character oh we're also going to check if and the player dot character find first child humanoid root part we want to make sure the humanoid root part exists so i can just do wait for child humanoid root part dot position position minus humanoid root part dot position then dot magnitude um no magnitude is three in your brackets if you don't have to have it in brackets and you do let's do humanoid root part position dot magnitude so that will and that basically is um every like number here makes it one number um and the brackets makes it one number and that's like zero to magnitude or it's not too like two things it's just not at all and magnitude just converts the fact the position to a number so for example um it, like there's every distance up let's check if the distance is less or equal to the max distance I'm gonna want to see if and ray uh, result and ray result dot instance and ray result dot instance is descendant of player dot character. So over here, 
we're gonna set this uh, function there but essentially it's gonna create a line like let's say uh, let's the ray cast basically makes a line to one position let's say the face it's gonna put it all the way along um, to where the character is um, and it's gonna see if that line goes all the way to the character if it works but if it doesn't work there's gonna probably be a part in front of it like a wall and then it's only gonna reach the wall we want to see if it can reach the player if that makes sense so you can just delete that and go back in the script and right here we can make the distance equal to the uh, I mean max distance equal to the distance and we make the um, closest equal to the player now over here in the raycast you're gonna want to have the position one and the position two it's gonna equal to raycast params Oop, dot new and the raycast params dot raycast params dot uh, filter filter type is gonna equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot exclude and raycast params dot filter descendants instances is gonna equal to a table and uh, what uh, basically what this is doing is you can put parts in here like and what this is doing is it making it so it does it ignores the parts that's inside the table so for example it's ignoring wall so if it didn't ignore a wall then the uh, raycast will only go up to here but if it is ignoring wall then it's going to go right through the wall if you understand you can also delete that all again now i gonna make it blank for now and what we want to do is going to equal to workspace raycast and the origin is going to be the position uh, 2 and the uh, direction is going to be the uh, in brackets position 1 minus position 2 and the uh, you can just put the raycast params like that which is these raycast params and then at the end you can return the result so then it's getting the the uh, thing yeah and the let's just say I love the player symbol uh, and during the check if plus there in the pack plus which you can do and go with that yeah just back and if you know there which you can do um get back so that you can go to uh the path there's two positions position one position two uh then just close the house character oh you know those variables um Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get in and have solo uh, once and we will do uh, space with the other weapons. Can do the solo right here, uh, down here, and can get done without just gonna be the one. And can get the weapons, uh, and square case, and start random. I'm gonna get the hashtag waypoints, which is getting the length of the waypoints. So it's getting a random waypoint over here. And at the end, you do dot position, and the comma, you wanna get the. Uh, actually, I did a mistake. Uh, you want to put the comma before and you just do humanoid dot position so uh, like that so the this is the second position now what we want to do is gonna we're gonna check if uh, pat success if it's like it can walk then we're gonna do that and be right before actually and check if path dot blocked connect function you can actually connect it once because we're gonna, not going to need it after once and just do path destroy the path like that and in the path get a create path right here uh, we're going to get the uh, local path is going to equal to path and service create path and in these parameters we're actually not going to use these parameters right now and no path you can um, um, 
compute async, yeah, I forgot, and the uh, start and finish vectors, the position one and position two, like that, and you can return the path like that. Uh, now it's all finished. Perfect. That that's how it works. For i comma comma waypoint in peers path get waypoints do and this is going to be a path waypoint move to a uh, waypoint that position uh, dot move to finish and we're just going to wait now what we are also going to do is right before we're going to check if closest player then we're going to um, attack and then uh, break right here. Copy this. Uh, you can also, uh, yeah, just the path right here. And instead of it being the waypoint, the position, you can change this to being the. Let's just get um, a player here. Wait for child humanoid root part. Like that. That position. Can't forget that. Now we're gonna want to walk. Uh, let's just set some settings here. Local um, um, attack path number is gonna equal to. So what this is gonna, what this is doing, is let's say uh, we have a part here. Actually, let's yeah, let's uh, put this here. Uh, now what I've seen in some videos, like I've seen some path findings of videos, like let's say you can see the player. Uh, now what in those videos they do, they just make it walk to the character like this, but then it's going to get stuck and no longer attack you, like it can't get to you. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to make it so it can walk around and then walk to you, like so it doesn't get stuck. Now that is actually really easy to do. So right here, we're just gonna make a humanoid move to um, path, get waypoints, gets um, attack path number at position, like that, right there, it's finished. Um, now this is gonna work, but we're not gonna get damaged. I can just test it. Well, I just realized we're actually not giving the information when we're calling it. So you, at the end, you just return closest right there. That's just it. It was, it was my mistake. Sorry. Oh, another mistake. What is this? It's expecting a, a player, but I'm not sending it. So you just put closest player to the argument here and closest player right here like that. You don't actually need this, like you can um, like do this and it still work, but I'm just going to leave it. Actually, no, I'm just going to delete it. You don't actually need it. I just need to uh, see it now. It's walking to me. Path dot success is equal equal to enum enum dot path status dot a no path. Then you can uh, put this if it does have a path, so else there. But if it doesn't, then we just do um, humanoid move to uh, copy this like that right there. And you put that there. I think that is because it think thinks that it can get over. Cause, so you can just put that like right there. Yeah, it works now. Let's see. And it's going around each time like you see that that's perfect like you can uh, try to jump over and it'll walk around to get me like you might like in like games like this like um like tutorials don't show you how to make this so yeah and now what we can do next is make it like if we get far enough like, let me just, also, I, we need to make it so when you're dead, 
it doesn't it doesn't follow you anymore because it still follows you and if it's far enough it won't see the player so it'll just continue going to waypoints and waypoints and waypoints so that is perfect what i wanted to add is to make it so attack see like it damages you if it's close enough so we can get this uh, local distance is going to equal to uh, you can get the player like this the distance and then minus humanoid root part dot position like that dot magnitude like we did for the uh, like we did uh, right here um, and we're going to check if distance is we can set another setting so local attack attack distance it's going to equal to let's say five so he has to be closer than five studs for it to attack you so equal to um attack distance and we can just copy this delete it and put it in the else if it's not close enough and if it is close enough we can just do um player dot character wait for child humanoid take damage so it's taking damage you can also put uh damage and that can be like five so it attacks you uh damage but this is gonna be like very fast i'm setting it to one um for this example example like you see it attacks you really like fast like i'm already dead you can change the settings if you want uh it attack it when it, you're close enough it starts attacking you and you can get away by over here right here yep i'm uh, escaped Ooh, and i yeah and it's trying to get me but it can't get me because I'm too high, so it just stays there. Now, uh, we're all done for the pathfinding characters, so I hope you like this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make doors that the killer can walk through and get you through. So, I hope you stay tuned. Uh, thank you for this video, and goodbye.